The first thing is juniper berries. That is what makes Jin Jin. Juniper berries, orange root, coriander seed, that's the holy trinity. And then our citrus peel, so your lemon, lime, orange, dried mandarin peel for more intense citrus. We have other stuff like lemongrass, kaffir lime leaves, chrysanthemum, pomelo, cinnamon, cardamom, ground ginger. Gin to me represents experimentation because with gin, anything goes. And you can put anything you want, whatever your heart desires. And I think that really represents who I am as a person as well. I realised that Singapore didn't have any spirits to call her own. If you think about the Singapore Sling, it's a world-famous cocktail. And I just thought that it was such a shame that you know all the bars in Singapore were using a foreign gin as the base for this drink. So I wanted to create a gin that we made specially for our tropical climate. I was using ingredients that represented Singapore as a whole. I had the idea of opening a distillery in 2012. I enrolled myself in distilling school in the US, but also decided to gain some hands-on experiences. Basically pleaded with distilleries to take me in. So what happened in the end is I managed to get a stint in South Carolina, as well as in the UK and in the Black Forest in Germany. When we found our master distiller, Frank, he aligned with us a lot. So we brought all our ingredients to the Black Forest. I knew that it had to be things that we were very familiar with and that represented us as a country. I went to the wet markets and our TCM shops and I basically bought everything, packed it all in a suitcase, probably about 50 different types of ingredients and then just flew to Germany. I don't know how I made it through customs but I made it there and um, yeah, I brought it to Frank. We finally got the recipe done in 2015 and then when we came back to Singapore, it was getting the licensing and speaking to the authorities and that took another two and a half years. So we have our flagship product, which is our Singapore Dry Gin. Very easy to drink, good to mix in cocktails. But we wanted something with a totally different flavour profile as well. And that's why we launched a Butterfly Pea Gin. It's inspired by Peranakan heritage and it's floral because we really ramped up on the lavender flavour. And then the last one we had is a Pahit Pink. When the British came to Singapore, they ordered pink gin because it's something that they knew about. It's just basically gin and bitters. But when the British left Singapore, you don't see it anymore. And so what we wanted to do was to bring back this drink. I always say I want to see Brass Lion take over the world, but baby steps as well. And I don't see the point in saying oh, we're in 40 countries, which can be easily achieved, but then you don't really have much movement. We spent the first two years really brand building within Singapore, hoping that Singaporeans can understand the brand. In the past, I think local was viewed as being not premium or maybe inferior. And that was many years ago, but now with a lot of crafters and makers coming up, people can see the pride and the craftsmanship involved in making the product. There's definitely that growing appreciation. I really wanted to create our brand home because we're in Singapore. And so to have this building here where people can come in, understand the brand, do the distillery tours to see how we make the gin, to come here and even have their hand at making the gin themselves, as well as when just sampling our product by the bar. It was really important to me to have that full experience. I think distillation is extracting the purest form of something. And so when you have an idea, like really taking the core message behind it, that's your guiding light or your North Star, right? And then just sticking through to it. And everything else will just fall into place.